Today, we are going to talk about the secret to your next best brisket. There is nothing more I love better than cooking a brisket. It's considered, in my opinion, the holy grail of barbecue. All right? But for a lot of people, it stresses them out. And for good reason. All right? Today, I'm going to show you on my new Traeger Pro 780 how to cook a brisket. And don't worry to my offset smoker, folks, I didn't forget you. Pay close attention to the temperatures and times that it took so it will give you a good gauge of how long your brisket should be taking on your offset smoker. Finally, I'm going to leave you with the number one best tip, in my opinion, on how to make sure your next brisket is your best brisket. couple things gotta be careful with this a couple things I want to talk about super quick what is this uh, this is a brisket trimmer can also be used apparently for competition chicken to scrape the skin anyway I saw it on Instagram and I was like no way this thing's weird I don't know let me give it a try uh, shot on over to Amazon sorry Instagram I uh, got it for 20 bucks uh, it made it pretty easy pulling it like that is a lot easier than cutting through can you use a knife absolutely save yourself the money um, but I'm starting to do more and more briskets so I figured for 20 bucks let me give this a try it will rip through the fat some of the the protein uh, the beef itself it was having trouble getting through uh, but uh, this is the first time I used it I've never used it before so it might be better once I get used to it uh, is it worth it I don't know save yourself the money don't do whatever you want, but I'm doing a lot of briskets, so this helped me, and I'm pretty happy with it. Now, the last couple times, I've really trimmed up my briskets very aggressively, removing a lot of fat. Um, today, I, I don't mind. This is a backyard brisket for me. I'm going to even leave some of this that some people are like, oh my God, you got to remove that. I want to get, I want to keep a lot of the fat on this one. Uh, I just want to experiment a little bit, 
see I got a good size here um, and last couple times I've really shaved it down really taken a lot of the fat off and I just want to give this a try it's been a while since I've left a lot of fat on and I want to I want to do that again so it that's the reason you're seeing me do this right now all right so cosmos injection um, I've done a few videos in the past with this you guys know the deal it's pretty awesome stuff so I'm gonna inject this and uh, then season it All right, my neighbor gave me this Killer's Hog Texas brisket rub. The reason there's white all over it, we had our cabinet sprayed and you know, don't worry, no pink on inside. I'm gonna put this as the layer and then I want a little bit of heat. So I'm gonna use Uncle Steve's, just a light dusting. It might not even pick up, but this is really good. Salt and pepper, they have garlic, um, dehydrated garlic, dehydrated onion, dehydrated parsley. So they have a lot of different flavors going on in here, but I think I want to try to pick up on something a little bit with a little more heat and uh, let's do it. Now I'm gonna wait 25 to 30 minutes to let these spices really get absorbed and kind of pasted on by the brisket sweating. So we'll check in in about 25 minutes. I was a little bit more generous with the Texas Killer Hogs Texas brisket rub than I want it to be. Uh, so when I flip it over and do the other side, I'm gonna be a little less generous than I was on this top side. As I get ready to apply the bottom portion of the rub, I'm going to turn on my trigger so it gets to the right temperature. So if you've seen my other videos before, you know I've always done fat side down. So Kevin, why the change this time around? No particular reason. I just wanted to try it fat side up. Uh, I saw a different, I saw a video and I said, what the heck, I'll give it a try. Uh, that's a part of barbecue experiment, try new things. <laughs>
All right, enough talking. Let's try this. Nice little smoke ring, decent smoke ring. You know how it goes. Um, that's a nice little bite to it, but tender. Uh, this is the point, and you know this is going to be my favorite piece. So that that's game over. All right, so I left a lot of fat on, and here's why. For me, when I'm cooking a brisket, leaving more fat on helps the brisket be more forgiving. All right, if, I don't know, it just keeps encapsulates all the juices. I, I feel like every time I've cooked it with more fat on, I just have always liked it more. Now, because I have all that fat on there, when I'm serving to my guests, will I scrape a good bit off? Absolutely. Uh, myself, when I'm eating it, I'll have less but there are a few times I'll bite in and I'll have a nice juicy piece of fat. I just like it that way. I know everybody's got their own preference, but it is something definitely worth trying. The number one best tip I can leave you with today is you just finished watching a video on how to cook brisket, right? And you probably watched three or four other videos. Then you went to forums and websites and you read three or four articles. All right, you feel great, you're ready to cook your first brisket, and then you start cooking it. And all of a sudden, your brain turns into a pretzel. Uh, Kevin said he pulled his at 150, the other article said 165. Uh, I've wrapped it, I haven't wrapped it. All of a sudden, you're overwhelmed with information, and it causes you to freeze and stresses you out. Am I doing this right? The best thing you can do is the night before, write down, literally take out a pen and paper and write down the way you want to cook your brisket today. All right, I'm shooting for 150 degrees, then I'm gonna wrap it, all right? Then I'm gonna bring it up to 203 and I'm gonna look for probe tender, all right? That's going to alleviate all the other options. It's going to de-stress you because you have a written plan. All right? If you eliminate the other options, it won't make you paralyzed by too many of them. This is the way I'm going to cook it today. It's the best thing you can do. Once you're done with your cook, I want you to write down what you liked and what you want to tweak. All right. I wrapped it at 150 this time. Next time, I want a little more bark formation, so I'm gonna wrap it at 165, all right? This is the best way for you to find out how you like to cook brisket, right? Once you do this, you're gonna find that brisket is actually not that challenging. I injected it. I turned my smoker on, which, you know, it's Traeger. They made it pretty set it and forget it. I threw it on at 11. I slept till 7.30, all right? Then I wrapped it. Then I woke up, sold my old trigger, did some school with my daughter, all right? I was able to do all these things, and then the next thing I have to do is just take it out, put it in a cooler, wait two hours. I didn't have to stress about this cook at all, all right? But people stress out because they get too much information, too many techniques on how to do it right. Start with one method you want to do and tweak from there. You get the idea of how to make your next brisket much better. If you want to watch more videos on Traeger, I'm going to put those right up here. And if you're from the Offset Smoking Group or you want to learn more about Offset Smokers, I'm going to put those videos right here also. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you are having a great 4th of July. I wrote down this plan, and now we got a dog barking. But I wrote down this plan, and now this cook has been extremely, this dog is killing me. This dog is killing me.